Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate you taking the time to tune into my booktube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Rhymes with Witches by Lauren Miracle. I picked up this book because I've really enjoyed other books and pieces by Lauren Miracle. In Let It Snow, hers is my favorite story. I enjoyed all three, and the fact that one particularly resonated with me is really saying something. I also really enjoyed The Infinite Moment of Us, as well as her text-inspired novels that came out when I was younger. Rhymes with Witches is not like any of her previous novels, however. It's much darker, and the general tone is vastly different from anything else that I've seen from her. Jane wants to be popular in the worst way imaginable. She's willing to do practically anything, including hurting her best friend and being rude to other people. She's not exactly the most likable character as the story progresses. She, she does things and says things that are questionable, but it's all in her pursuit of being popular. I thought the book was rather reminiscent of Mean Girls at times because there are these four main girls, they all want to be the ones that the rest of the school is watching, they want to be the ones that everyone looks to for fashion and for advice, they want to be the center of their high school universe of sorts, and they're willing to do practically anything in order to remain the center of attention. I thought Jane's relationships in the book were rather telling of her own disposition and her own ultimate goals. She has this best friend who she tolerates rather than looks forward to talking to or sitting with at lunch. At one point, she just doesn't show up to lunch and the friend's wondering where she is, and she's reading her favorite novels hiding in the library because she doesn't want to be with the best friend or she wants to just be by herself. She has friends, but she doesn't necessarily enjoy being with them. <laughs> she feels as if she's rather stuck with them versus choosing to have them as friends. That mentality leads her to treat people as if they're disposable in some senses. Because once she becomes popular, she doesn't think she needs that friend anymore. While the book is dark, and it does raise a lot of questionable things with high school and the quest for popularity, and some of the running themes in the book are really interesting, I do think that the character herself is flawed, and that's what kind of kept me gross. The themes of this book are rather dark. It's almost a cross between that 90s movie The Craft and Mean Girls. And so if you pair those two together, you have Rhymes with Witches. Jane's not like the other characters in those stories, though, so it is different for the reader. Stop watching if you don't want to hear any spoilers, because I am going to talk about some of the things that are not on the back cover of the book. Jane agreed to go to her high school dance with one of her older friends. She's known him for years. He has had a crush on her for a long time. And so when he asked her to go to the dance and she agreed, he was really excited to have her finally be interested in him in that way. When her new group of friends, the Populars, ask her to attend the dance with them as a girls' night out, she ends up deciding to cancel on him last minute and go with them instead. I really didn't like that part of the book, and she does a lot of other things that are similar to that later on. As the narrative progressed, Jane did more things similar to that, and so she became unlikable at times. Even when I wasn't necessarily rooting for her, I wanted to see how the story ended and how everything played out. Spoiler! Spoilers! Spoiler, 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 spoiler. I'm going to talk about the ending of the book, so if you haven't read or you are interested in reading and you don't want to know, please stop watching. Usually, whenever there's something about high school, they break the mold and it gives the illusion that everything is going to be okay from now on. Jane is expelled from her popular group and left to be a loner and rather an outcast. Miracle was really clever in having the ending of the book be reminiscent of what life is really like, where it's hard to break the cycle in the norm in high school. While the ending of the book isn't necessarily uplifting, it is interesting because Miracle didn't have Jane break the norm or break the cycle that occurs in high school. Jane no longer was a part of that popular group, but yet she still had to exist for another four years in this particular school and with the people who she just wronged. While she's no longer a member of the popular group, that group still exists and is still having new members, and they are still perpetuating the same typical scenarios that people have seen and read in all the other movies and books. So the reader is left knowing about Jane's evolution, but the high school mentality is still the same. While Jane evolved, the other characters were still in high school and still wanted to be popular and accepted as well. And so even though she learned that that was not the best course of action, or she learned that what she wanted isn't what she needed, the other characters still had that same desire to be popular. And so they wanted to join that new group because there was a vacancy. And by having it not be a happy ending, it had a realism even though there's magical and mystical elements because there's not always going to be a well-resolved or happy ending in life, especially if it's high school. <laughs> it was interesting to have her leave it rather unresolved because the popular group still exists. It still has people wanting to be new members, and so that group still exists just like it would in real life. 
the book wasn't a culmination of lessons learned and high school all of a sudden being a different place. It was still the same place, but Jane's perspective is what changed. As any Lauren Miracle book, it had fun one-liners, the characters had witty dialogue, it was a fun read. If you have any questions on Rhymes with Witches or anything I said in the video, or anything else written by Lauren Miracle, please comment down below because I'd love to talk to you more about it in the future. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great reading day.